leaving the ultrasound core. We're gonna head back down the main hallway. Again, we're still at the Smilo, uh, North Pavilion, second floor. We'll take a quick pause right here. Just wanna highlight two things. Uh, we do have a, uh, for any type of CT scans or MRIs, other sensor studies that are done here that might require contrast or uh, preparation. We have a patient prep hold area over here. If you're on nuclear medicine, this is where you'll come to get morphine to do injections or Lasix, other medications. Uh, across the hall, we have a patient waiting area. Uh, there's lockers for them. There's a TV and a lounge area. Um, so nice for them to stay nice and comfortable while they're waiting for their oral contrast to go through or you know, any type of waiting. So in the North Pavilion, we have two CT scanners. Uh, they're both 64 slice. We have a GE scanner in this room. This other room, we do all of our spine um, and bone um, interventions on. So lots of biopsies are done here. Occasionally some ablations are done as well. Okay, let's go ahead down to the reading room. Okay, let's go say hi to the body reading room. And who do we have today? Oh, so we have uh, three of our residents here. Uh, why don't we start with Anna? How's it going? Um, so this is a video for the applicants. Um, maybe you could just tell them a little bit of the rotation you're on, sort of how the, the day runs while you're on service. Sure, so I'm a body CT now, and uh, as first years, we mostly uh, help out with protocoling, answering the phones, and uh, reading as many cases as we can. So it's a mm -hmm. lot of cancer staging and a lot of basic bread and butter pieces too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think that we focus too on the first year of like teaching you guys the protocols and knowing, you know, learning about contrast timing and learning which you know, protocols to do for different studies. Yeah. Okay. And what made you want to come to Yale? Um, well, a lot of it was location for me uh, from the New England area, so um, and I like the you know smaller city with a lot to do and around the city too. There are beaches here, um, you know, plenty to do outside of New Haven and plenty. Also, good food scene, restaurants. Right. You've been enjoying your time so far? Yeah, a lot. I, um, I've been on a few different rotations. Uh, Peds, Pedicure, Pedicure, Med, and Ultrasound Scanning before this. Um, so I've gotten a good introduction to a few different rotations so far. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Uh, over here we have Eddie. He's one of our uh, integrated IR residents on his CT rotation. Yeah. Uh, this is your start of your second year, right? I guess almost yeah. a third of the way through now. Yeah, indeed. Uh, so maybe you could talk about you know uh, how the second year or second rotation through Body CT differs from when you were first year. Things yeah. that are new. For sure, for sure. Hi there, everyone. Uh, I'm Eddie. Um, as Tyler introduced me, I'm one of the IR uh, residents. Um, so definitely, um, as you move from you know first year to second year and and onwards, you start to. Uh, the job description kind of starts to change. You, you uh, pick up new responsibilities. One thing that is very different for, for me now is that I'm one of the primary people responsible for uh, consults when, uh, when uh, primary teams are coming in and they have questions about scans, uh, they want additional information or something uh, to go over with. Uh, I, um, um, I'm the first person they, they, they get in touch with and we always have the attending support here too. But it's, um, it's really great to interact with the primary teams and, and, um, and help them in, uh, in their processes and that's been really rewarding. Any advice for the applicants? Um, I would say, um, you know, um, enjoy the videos that we make. I think uh, yeah, that um, that's one of the ways now in, 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 uh, that we're trying to highlight and show, uh, give, give you an experience of what it, uh, what it is like to be in a different place. And I think uh, from our perspective, I'm very happy to be here. Um, and it really, uh, you know, buildings are buildings, but what really makes a difference is the people that you work with. And um, while that's sometimes difficult to, to choose, I would say that I won a lottery when it comes to that. Okay. Uh, we'll head down to the end. Uh, so just speaking mentioned, there's eight reading workstations within the room. Um, we've got Eric. Eric, we're talking, you're going to stand up for this video. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, That's yeah. okay, that's okay. So here's, here's one of the, uh, <laughs> the great things about uh, our uh, reading rooms is we can, uh, yeah. uh, we can choose to stand or sit. Um, so just like that, all the desks are equipped with uh, ergonomic oh, rotations. Cool. So. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, how's your rotation been? It's been fantastic. Um, all the attendings are really wonderful. 
you know, I, I was actually surprised I haven't found a single person that, uh, you know, I don't mesh with yet. Um, we have wonderful tenants like Mark over here. He's, he's really great. Anytime you have questions, he's more than willing to help out. Um, and that's not just ex uh, exclusive to body, the body CT rotation. I've, I've noticed that with all the rotations I've done so far. So I've done some of the similar rotations that Anna's done, like uh, the nuclear medicine rotation, pediatric rotation. We have awesome pediatric attendings. So um, the attendings are really, really wonderful, which I think is what makes Yale such a special place. How's the transition been? Transition, you just started, uh, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I was fortunate to uh, come from Florida right when the COVID was, was kind of getting out of control. So that was, that was nice. But uh, I yeah, I got to escape, but um, everyone's been great. You know, I, I live in this, uh, it's called 360 State Street. Um, it's a great building. There's a lot of other residents that live there. Um, and it's got like great amenities. You know, there's a lot, lots of stuff nearby. The restaurants in New Haven are wonderful. Um, there's a lot of uh, different diverse culture and, and, a, and a lot of stuff. So a lot of our classmates will go out and, uh, you know, do stuff together like that. We're a pretty interactive class, so. Yeah, we got a happy hour tonight. Yeah, yeah. We have a happy hour tonight. So we always have stuff uh, up and coming to, uh, you know, keep everyone happy. Well, uh, well-being is, uh, is a big, big uh, uh, objective for our residency, so. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, any advice for applicants? Uh, I would say, you know, as hard as it is, it's kind of cliche just to try to be yourself. Um, I know it's that's going to be a little awkward with the like the uh, the way the format is this year. Um, but you know, it's it's just try to take it as seriously as you can and just be yourself and don't don't put too much thought into it. I think it's really easy to overthink these things. Thanks, all right. Thanks. Good luck, everybody. All right. Now we'll quickly say hi to Mark Ferrante. Hey, Mark. Hey guys. He's one of our uh, assistant professors. Uh, started a year as a fellow and yeah. stayed on as faculty. That's right. Um, maybe you could just quickly talk about your experience as a fellow and why you chose Yale initially and maybe why you decided to stay on as faculty. Yeah, uh, sure. So I, I, um, I'm originally from New York. Um, I uh, did my residency in New York. I had some friends that did fellowship here, the one that I applied to, and they had great experiences. So I figured I'd give it a shot, you know, too. And, uh, it really turned out to be a great experience for me. Um, I really, really felt prepared, um, you know, as the radiologist, and um, it just seemed like the right fit for me to stay on board. Uh, so I was really happy when I had that opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I just feel lucky that the, the people that I work with, I really like working with them. Um, there's some really talented and accomplished faculty here, mm -hmm. and very approachable too, which is important because as a junior, uh, faculty member, it's just easy for me to just uh, kind of ask questions, and I still am continuing to learn every day from a lot of uh, my senior colleagues. So, yeah, uh, it's been a great, I think, experience for me to grow as an attending mm -hmm. and just build my career. Thank you. <laughs> sure. All right. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Take care. All right, so there you have it. There's our body CT reading room. So now what we'll do, we'll leave this area of the South Pavilion or North Pavilion and we'll head over to South Pavilion, which is where we have our fluoroscopy, gastrointestinal, genitourinary imaging. Um, so let's head that way.